origin of life origin of life means how life came into existence on earth or in other words how living beings appeared on earth to know how life came into existence first we must know how universe then earth then inorganic molecules then organic compounds leading to non cellular living beings finally single cellular and multicellular organisms came into existence like this so in first step we'll discuss how universe then earth came into existence how universe came into existence is explained by big bang theory now what is a theory theory is a proposition in simple words it's scientific imagination which cannot be proved in original uh, in original uh, circumstances but it cannot can be repeated and proved uh, in the laboratory now big bang theory is one of the theories or most widely accepted theories which explains how universe came into existence or how universe is created scientists proposed in this theory scientists proposed that a giant or huge single expl- explosion larger than our imagination or our description in physical terms occurred which led to formation of universe how after the explosion sometimes later hydrogen and helium gases came into existence then these gases cooled down and due to the gravitational force they created surface surface of the universe this lead to the formation of universe now what is universe or uh, means what are the components universe is made up of stars planets dust gases etc many many of all of these now in the universe earth is just like a speck or a single very small point you can compare one drop of water in the ocean mm, similar to earth in, in the universe earth is located in the mm, uh, solar system called milky way galaxy now when earth came into existence it was filled with gases like ammonia water vapor methane etc which were all inorganic in nature no organic compounds were created in the first stage in presence of uv rays the the water vapor was depleted and formed molecular oxygen as well as hydrogen hydrogen is lighter than the hydrogen being lighter escaped into the space outer space then the oxygen molecular oxygen formed the ozone layer which later cooled down and it led to raining raining for a long period of time as a result all the water bodies like oceans rivers sea etc all the water bodies were created now when the universe came into existence approximately 20 billion years ago whereas earth was created approximately 4.5 billion years ago now first life form came into existence after 500 million years of creation of earth or 400 billion years ago from now now how the first life form came into existence is still not known 
Many scientists propose many theories, some of which, uh, for example, earlier Greek thinkers used to think that life came, the first living form came from outer space in form of spores. Then other uh, used to think about spontaneous generation that life form can be created from non-living things like hay or rotten masses etc then biogenesis that is uh, proved by Louis Pasteur's ex experiment tells us that life can only come into existence from pre-existing life form means one cell can give rise to another cell not any non-living being now still this do not um, give the information that how first life form came into existence. Here come the, comes the role of uh, Oparin and Halden. They did a experiment which is related to chemical evolution. So what is chemical evolution? Chemical evolution tells us that from simple inorganic compounds, organic complex molecules was created which leads to formation or creation of living beings. Lead uh, means in simple words from inorganic molecules a compound, simpler ones, complex organic compounds were created this led to creation of life form first the non-cellular ones then coming to the single cellular and multicellular uh, organisms now what experiment actually was done by Oparin and Halden in a flask this is the experiment means image diagrammatic representation okay Miller also did a experiment what Miller actually did that uh, he created means uh, Oparin and Haldane proposed that uh, mm, formation of life was preceded by chemical evolution that is formation of diverse organic molecules from inorganic constituents and what are the essential factors high temperature volcanic storms reducing mm, atmospheric uh, condition containing ammonia methane etc then miller did the experiment in that he created electric discharge in a closed flask containing methane hydrogen ammonia water vapor mm, at 800 degree centigrade as a result what happened that uh, as a result he found that uh, amino acids were formed in a similar type of uh, uh, experiment also a nitrogenous bases fats pigments mm, carbohydrates like simple sugars can be formed so this tells us how uh, chemical evolution occurred still now how first self replicating metabolic capsule that is unicellular life form came into existence not known it's imagined or uh, theoretically given that giant molecules of either RNA or protein or polysaccharides or all of these give rise to um, first cellular form means non-cellular living forms may be made up of a giant RNA protein or polysaccharide molecules came into existence 3 billion years back now cellular life form came into existence uh, about 2000 million years ago which um, was thought that um, unicellular and also aquatic first life form came into existence in aquatic environment